All right, so this is our video on trap placement. We're going to go over the locations of all six traps, brief description, and give you an idea how they're hung. So anyways, this is trap number one. This trap has caught before. This location has caught before. It's my best location. That's why it's trap number one. In the area, we have power lines, some. We have a railroad track. We have a river. We have a major highway. This is a suburban area. Um, we have a trail here and then a trail coming from the south. Most of the bees that we've caught here have actually come from this direction here. So it has everything I want. It is facing south, although it's not facing over a prairie or open land. It's been very, very productive, maybe because of the highway. Also, as you can hear in the background, another thing we have is an airport. Planes come right over here all the time. So none of that has ever deterred any catching of bees. And this is my favorite spot. It's also nice because it's close to my house. We have another trail coming there from the east. So it's intersecting trails, facing trees. It does not get a ton of sun. So I guess you could say it's a lot of the things that maybe we don't suggest, but it has been very, very, very productive for me and I'm very pleased with it. So anyways, this is trap number one. Uh, highway, river, railroad tracks, facing south suburban-ish area. It's getting a little bit rural, but it's still right outside of a pretty major city. Uh, we are located in Kent County, Grand Rapids, Michigan, and um, we have three traps down in this area and then another three traps 20 miles to the north, northeast Kent County. So anyways, trap one is uh, in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And we're hoping for the best. Still too early to expect any activity. Today's May 1st. Uh, this video will be posted today. And I expect to start seeing activity within a week or so. This is trap number two. Uh, this trap is several years old. It has caught before. This location we have not caught at. It's a new location for us. But in this area, there's, uh, I've, a lot of bodies of water, so a lot of lake homes. This one is probably set up more traditional that I'd like to see on an open field facing to the south. This one is low, uh, no ladder needed for this one, so not very high in the area. All the traps that are in a tree are hung the same way, so one nail and then a ratchet strap to hold them. The boards behind it I use to level them. I do keep my traps level because of the way they're set up on the inside, which I'll go over at trap six. So again, this is trap number two, lots of water. The trap itself has caught, the location has not. Um, so this homeowner here loves their flowers and loves their birds. So a lot of activity and it backs up to the woods. hopeful of this spot that's why we put trap number two here because it is scented well already has caught and we decided to put trap here trap number two here for that reason so again hobby farms several lake homes outside of a nice city but still rural A little bit more about trap number two here in Michigan. Again, some more purple dead nettle and some dandelions coming up. Also, trap number two is about 10 miles away from our bee yard. We know that there is one beekeeper in the area and there has been several beekeepers over the past decade. So feral populations is the hope. This is trap number three. It's about two miles away from trap number one. Um, it's set in a deer blind, so it's good height. It is facing south. This is a rural area, even more rural 
than trap number one. Not much agricultural, just homes with some land. This one is facing an open field. It is close to the highway, not as close as trap number one. There is a couple ponds and this trap has not been used before. This trap is new construction, so it has not caught. This location is new. We have never tried here. Found it this year and I like what I see. So there is a lot of wooded land, um, but not much agricultural. So you got some overgrown fields and a lot of homes with some decent amount of acreage. So we're hoping for the best here. I don't know much about whether there's been beekeepers in the area, but again, it is probably less than two miles from trap number one, which has been very, very successful at a very successful location. So I know there's bees in the area and we're just hoping to see what happens. So today is May 1st here in Michigan. Trap number three, not expecting much activity, but I'm hoping that it'll start to pick up real soon. So we'll see how about this new location. This is trap number four. Uh, again, new construction this winter has not caught. It is in a rural area. Um, there's quite a bit of agricultural and then lots of hobby farms around. There are some power lines in the area. Here's some secondary and some primaries to the east. Out in the distance, there's a lot of wooded land. Um, I don't know much about beekeepers in this area, but again, there's a lot of hobby farms in this area. And this is trap number four with the same setup, which I'll go over later. And it's a new location. We haven't tried here at all. Just found it this year. But again, it has a lot of the things that we like. So we'll see about number four. And I'll keep you posted on this one. Again, there's a lot of agricultural and many, many hobby farms in the area. A lot of hay fields. So we're hoping for the best. Still at trap number four, but this is always nice to see. Here in Michigan, we got some purple dead nettle coming up. There's some good patches around here and already some dandelions. So we'll see, here's another view of where trap number four is from the backside. Another note about trap number four is it's about five miles from our bee yard. This is trap number five on a tree stand, deer tree stand. Uh, this is located at my bee yard. It's only about 20 yards away. Uh, it's a brand new box, never caught any bees. So we're hoping for the best for this one. It is pretty much in the immediate area for about a mile, uh, very wooded. There are some power lines there is uh, almost 100 acres, 200 acres of low wooded wetland, uh, plenty of standing dead. So this area has caught before. This caught last year, but we have bees here now, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. I apologize for the road noise. So we'll see, but anyways, again, this is trap number five. We'll put a description better description in the comments as far as where this one's located and a description of the area around here but this has been a spot that has caught in the past so we think it'll be good a little concerned about the bee yard being here now but we're very happy with uh, the honey flow that we get from this area so catching in this area secondary primary is our bee yard a little more video of trap number five area so this is the back of our property uh, again it's very low wooded wetland there's several hundred acres behind us not too much agricultural within a mile but after a mile it gets pretty heavy with agricultural so soybeans um, corn and then also within two miles we have a lot of people that produce hay and clover 
for livestock, so that's helped out in the fall. But again, just a little bit more video of the area here for trap number five. Goes on forever. Um, very little houses, couple across the street, some on the other side of the creek, um, and then nothing on this side of the road for a half mile up. So I would consider this uh, pretty wooded and I would call this uh, less agricultural than some of our other traps that you'll see. So trap number six, the final trap, this would be a suburban area and this is my backyard. So we have a highway nearby. This subdivision's been here for over 50 years, so there's a lot of mature trees. Uh, we have a river nearby and this is literally 10 yards from the back of my house. So subdivision in Grand Rapids, we have an overgrown hill here that we just let go natural. We take out some. The deer love it. The animals love it. And this is a brand new trap. I have actually never even hung a trap in my backyard. So this will be the first year for it. All my traps are set up the same way. So from back to front. These are five frame traps. The back one is a heavily waxed plastic foundation. The next one is a starter strip with fishing line. The middle is a dry drawn comb brood frame. And then the front two closest to me are again starter strips with fishing line. Everything in the traps is waxed under the lid inside with melted wax and then my frames are waxed as well including the fishing line. Everything's scented with Swarm Commander. I put one spray on top of the frames in this back corner away from the entrance and then usually two sprays of Swarm Commander on the front. One in the hole and then one uh, on the outside of the hole. So all of them are scented the same way, all of them are set up the same way. I'm going to do a video more on that, but anyways, this is trap number six, Grand Rapids, Michigan, May 1st. No activity, cloudy, overcast, but I'm expecting it to start. So all six of our traps are hung. I have given a description of all of them, and we'll keep posting. We have a face group page, Honey Bee Swarm Catching. If you'd like to join, we'd love to see you over there. I'd like to have you like and subscribe if you could, please, and hit that bell so that you get notifications. We're gonna be doing updates at least once a week, if not two or three times a week. So, super excited about the season. If you head over to that Facebook page, you'll see that all over the nation, they're already catching to the south. Pretty exciting. Lots of different kinds of swarm traps, lots of great participation. We have some great members, so we'd love to see you over there. Honeybee Swarm Catching on Facebook. And I'd like to thank you for uh, watching Fishing for Bees. Thank you.